Hi and welcome to Wayman's Web. Uh, today we're going to take a look through um, the latest issue of War Games Illustrated. This is issue 385, uh, November 2019. And um, the reason why we're looking through this is because of our good old friend here, Judge Joseph Dredd. Um, uh, Warlock Games have got a long-standing relationship with War Games Illustrated and as such most months you get a free miniature or something to do with Warlock Games and this month you happen to get some Dread decals for the new upcoming Dread Warlock, game, uh, Warlock miniature game which is coming out on the 30th of November. Okay so quick look at the front cover which is um, Comprised of artwork by Cliff Robinson and it looks like Paul Bonner, but I'm not exactly sure. Um, lots of really great artwork. And then we've got um, Charles the Bold and Nam, which is really good because I'm interested in Vietnam. And a look at fictional heroes. And then on the back we have an advertisement for Gripping Beast. And this is looking at their um, uh, Militia Monday rules, which is like medieval uh, battle in 6mm, 10mm and 15mm uh, from the team behind Sword Point. Okay, let's just jump straight in. The only reason I got this is because it's Judge Dread and also get free decals for the buildings and stuff for um, the new Dread game. Okay, so um, looking through a um, usual uh, thing. Right, we've got a on the editorial it says where's the plastic? Ah, right, so people might complain because there's no free plastic. Um, it's basically, uh, there's no free frame with this, so they're giving away the decals instead. So, um, they've secured, a, I'm pleased to announce that we have secured a deal with our friends at Warlord Games for more plastic frame sprues to be bagged with War Games Illustrated throughout 2020. Fantastic. Okay, and here are the said decals. Now, for some reason, when I got mine, I got two copies, which I am not really complaining about. And I'm going to do a wee competition. Um... Obviously, because this is going on the Dread forums as well. If you're a fan of Judge Dread and you'd like these for free, all you have to do is just um, leave a comment on the um, YouTube video or mail me at uh, gamerswebmail.gmail.com. Sorry, gamerswebmail.gmail.com. And... Um, uh, I will uh, pick out a winner at random and I'll send you these in the post because I've got two copies I don't need two because I'll be getting one when I get the game okay but they're very good the water slide decals and um, they've got on good quality paper and we've got no future the phantom chopper free chopper um, spug life who judges the judges juve division blade um, lots and lots death lives lots of stuff that's taken directly from the comic books so um, that's a freebie for somebody. I'll uh, leave the details down in the description below. Okay, so part field miniatures, Winter War, um, flip throughs are on the War, War, War Games Illustrated website. They do a flip through every Friday. Um, Gale Force 9 have done a War Torn Village, which uh, is in 25mm scale, which looks quite good. Eureka Miniatures, um, 28mm uh, War, French Revolution War. Um, not something I've ever been interested in. Um, is the French Revolutionary War. Um, I like historical gaming, but that's not one thing that I've got. Um, War Gamer's Guide to um, Tabletop Terrain and War Gamer. Um, Tales of a War, <laughs> War Games Widow. Ah, right. Um, I've read some of those. They're actually quite interesting. And then I've quickly looked like got Victrix and Female Warlords from Elite War Games. Um, new uh, advertisement here for uh, North Star. Uh, no Star Military Figures presenting uh, Gaslands Refueled, which is the new version of Gaslands that comes with a plastic sprue of weapons and equipment that you can put on your vehicles. So it saves you all the hard work of actually going out and uh, finding somebody with a 3D printer. And then we've got our look at the history of 2000 AD in miniatures. Now, I've already done my own version of the 2000 AD in miniature history. Uh, I will put the link down below. Um, it's quite in depth. There's a couple of gaps in the sculptor base, so I'm not exactly sure who sculpted everything, but um, I've tried to be as concise as possible. Now, I'll read through all this at some point. Um, see, I actually go back even further than these guys because I actually go back to the Titan miniatures where they're just starting off with the Citadel Games Workshop from uh, the early 80s. And um, not bad, not bad at all. Uh, so these are the Mongoose Publishing miniatures. And then... Um, more adverts for War Games, and um, that wasn't a very big, big article. Uh, Charles the Bold, so um, that's uh, 
a Bulgarian, a Bul Bunga, uh, Burger Dunga Army for Charles the Bold on tabletop. And I just realised how much of a muppet I am. It's, uh, it's, <laughs> it's uh, Burgundian. Well, I don't know, <laughs> from Burgundy. Why on earth did I didn't get that? I can't remember. <laughs> All right, so um, quick look at that, create an army for the Burg um, Burg uh, Burgundian army. Um, and, of course, there's um, some looks at uh, some really lovely painted miniatures. One that's very, very out of focus. Okay, um, Batman miniature game from Night Models. Third edition coming very shortly. Um, Team Yankee, that's a quite a good game as well. And then, now we get into the meat of the thing. Um, this is making um, a, a games table for Dread. And I'm going to go and have a proper look through that um, once I get a chance to read it. Uh, Wild West Exodus, um, a look at um, those guys. They're going to be at PAX in December. And... Um, I've got an interview coming up with um, one of the guys from Wild West Exeter, from uh, War Cradle on the um, upcoming Bill and Ted Riffing Time board game, which um, should be very shortly. Now, the thing is with uh, miniature war games, um, it's always pictures of guys you don't understand who they are, you've no idea who they are. But um, the articles are always quite good. Um, okay, so um, Barry Lindonia. So I'll look at Barry Lyndon. Uh, uh, Barriat of Lindonia, not Barry Lyndon. What am I on about? I don't know. I'm I'm not into that uh, period of history. Um, then um, uh, Vietnam, a uh, new to me wargaming period, which is really good. Um, Vietnam's a very very interesting period to, to wargame. Um, so you can get some get some friends around. Um, Crank out some 1960s music, you know, stuff like um, Clear Credence with Water Revival, um, um, The Doors, The Rolling Stones and stuff like that, Mamas and Papas. Get it all cracked really, really high on your, on your stereo and just go to war. <laughs> okay, so we've got um, an adventure for Half Eagle Day. Now, these are the miniatures from the Upcoming Dread game. You've got uh, a street judge. A rookie judge and those are the perps now um, I got samples of these that were sent to me from warlord unfortunately the face on my um, rookie judge uh, is miscast so I'm gonna have to try and clean that up and I didn't get the male judge because I'm going to do a painting tutorial on painting them because they're quite simple to paint and they look really good so a quick scenario play playthrough fantastic and then designers notes um, from Roger Gurish um, about um, Design of the Dread game, which is co-written with uh, Andy Chambers. Okay, look at the um, latest lots of books for the 17th century. And then we have our usual um, advertisements at the back. Um, Treasures of Captain Flint, Ghost Archipelago and Frostgrave Adventure. Because this is all about fictional heroes. Gaslands Refueled. From comic book to comic star. Future history. Kildo, uh, the Land Raider and Killdozer from um, Judge Dread, which is, um, if you do read 2000 AD, it's well worth picking up this magazine just for that. The World of Judge Dread, and if we actually um, have a quick look, is my baby's on there somewhere? Oh, there she is. You can't really make it out, but that's Atlantis. <laughs> So, um, for those of you who don't really know, I actually wrote a full role-playing uh, supplement on Atlantis and the Black Atlantic. Uh, it's fantastic. And um, Cursed Earth, which is a new board game, um, card game that's coming out from um, Osprey. Uh, Osprey are also doing the um, Helter Skelter board game. And the guys over at um, What's Old is New, I've just, uh, EM Publishing, I've just about to release uh, the Cursed Earth role-playing supplement. And, um, painting Guide to Captain Flint. And more advertisements, French Indian War. Min amazing miniatures. And uh, Making the Temple of Doom. And that's it. It's uh, not a bad magazine. And as I say, I'll put the details of the competition. So basically, if you just email me um, at the address below in the description, and um, title your subject, um, Dread Decals, 
or whatever. I'll put all the, the details down at the bottom so uh, everybody gets a fair chance to get it. And I'll keep the competition running till um, November 30th when the uh, magazine com when the game comes out. Right, so that's a quick look through this magazine. Um, as always, thank you for tuning in. My name is Mark, and um, have a great day, and hopefully see you again soon.